Well, Brendan, this is a reply back to the video that you made last night. It's Paddy's Michael here, you know who it is. Um, anyway, you turned around and you said, why are we bringing women into it, yeah? It was you, Brendan. In case you forgot, because I know you're, you, you've had that money slaps into the head, right? And you took that money drugs, right? I'm not surprised you're forgetting, yeah? It was you who brought women into it, okay? Mentioning people's names that had nothing to do with the argument, right? That's all you're good for, right? But anyway, Brendan, I'll tell you another thing about your woman here. Your woman is a first-class prostitute. Your woman wanted my dick. She did. And that's the truth. She wanted me up on top of her, riding the whole of her. And I'll tell you why. Because she was forever texting my woman on Facebook. Oh, are you coming down? Are you and Michael coming down? Are you coming down? Have a drink with me and Brendan. Have a drink with me and Brendan. We live in John Hewitt Street in Clayton. Don't tell Brendan I've been texting you though. I, I, I come to the house unexpected. Just so you, you wanted to pop in, this, that and the other. Yeah? She was mad for she was. Just like when I went out to garden there, Brendan. And um, me, you and your brother David were sitting in the front yard. Right? You was eight side of me, I was sitting in the middle like an old king, yeah? You were like my bitches next to me, right? Side by side. And I was facing the kitchen window in your mother's yard, yes? And Chantel came to the kitchen window with a kittle, and her eyes were stuck through the window looking at me. She wanted a big dick for herself. Her cunt was frotting from the fanny. It was fat, it was, she was fanny flattened for me, Brendan. She would go mad for it, she was. She would get sick of your little pecker. So she wanted a proper man on top of her. Eh? I could have fucked your woman, Brendan. Just like every man's fucked your woman. Your woman loves it when you're on garden and she's up in Swansea. Because she's off in the car. And all the two over sisters that she has. She's off in the car with them two. Driving about. Going into the site of Lynette and letting all the gypsy boys ride into debt. They all wrote to get up and round Swansea and got signing. We all know that. Your woman's name is out, Brendan. Everyone knows what the woman is. You're sitting next to your woman at night, knowing yourself. She's been told to death. She's been told alive off every man going. And that's what kills you. And that's why you're always baiting her to death. That's why you give her a dog's life. Because you know exactly what she is. And you can't change it. Because she's the mother to some of your children. Not all your children. Because you don't own all of them. Right? Anyhow. Back to um, what you said before. You said you were never reared up in a house full of women. You was always around your uncles and your cousins and this, that and the other, yeah? And that your father died when you was nine years of age. Lord mercy on your daddy, yeah? Give him a bed in heaven. Your father died when, when, you was eight, when you was 11 years of age, Brendan, okay? You didn't know your father, Brendan. You're an old bastard child. And that's the cause and it's true. You're an old bastard child, that's all you are. You didn't know your father whatsoever. Because your mother and father only got back together about 12 months before your father died. Right? And then before that, before that, they were broke up a good six, seven years. So how, how could you know your father? You only knew your father for 12 months. You didn't know your father, Brendan. You're an old bastard child. That's all you were. You, you. And your mother and your brother David, the three of you were dressed like tramps at your father's funeral, Brendan. Do you remember you, Brendan? In your old Adidas tracksuit, Brendan. Black, the same tracksuit was black with the dirt and it was only fit to be under a lot of dogs. You scummy bastard. You was a show you was. Huh? Everyone was looking at you, you stood out like a sore thumb. You were dressed like a tramp at your father's funeral, Brendan. You didn't know your father. You were an old, you was an old handicapped boy when that man died, Lord Mercenum. You were an old bastard child, Brendan. You fucking fool, ya. Yeah. And another thing, let's get back to what you said before, yeah? You said, eh, uh, me and John Burns went to jail for robbing old people, this, that and the other. Listen, never mind what you hear in the papers, yeah? I got three years in jail when I was 18 years of age, yeah? Back in 2011, right? Uh, yes, I went into a house, Brendan, and I took a fruit pound, and I took this, that, and the other, yeah? But I never hit no old man, right? There was two fellas, in, there was three fellas in the house. One fella was 19, the other fella was 21, and the other fella was 42, right? I was 17 years of age, okay? So what the fuck are you talking about, me hitting old men? Saying an old man came to the door with a zimmer frame, and I took six Berkeley fags off him. What the fuck are you talking about? 
Where did you get this from, Brendan? You fucking idiot, cha. Does any of that say, does, does that say, does it say that in the paper, does it? Does it, does it say anything about taking six Berkeley fags, um, or the man coming to the door with his inner frame, in the paper? No. So where did you get it from then? You fucking innocent bastard. Saying, when the shades tested me, I, I, I came back that I had heroin. Brendan, I've never had heroin in all me bomb days of life. Yes? So, a, a bit of weed, yeah, fair enough, yeah. A bit of old sniff on the weekend, right? Every now and again, yeah? But I don't touch that no more. That, I, used to, I used to take that when I was a young fella, yeah? I'm a man now, so I act like a man. Pity you didn't do the same yourself and look after your children instead of spending the money on coke, yeah? But listen, there was no fucking heroin in my system. The old heroin addict here is your brother David. The fella that smacked out of his brains every day of the week up and around Garton with all the country boys. Yeah, in the little smack dens. It's your brother who's the heroin addict, Brendan. Yeah, and you, you're the old coke addict. Not a fella that puts cocaine first before his own children bless them. Yeah, you can't, you, you can't feed yourself. That's why you're always in your mother's house, Brendan. That's why you're always in your mother's house. You fucking tramp. You have nothing. Never had nothing, never will have nothing. I don't bowsy man. And then you turn around as well, yeah? And you said, I mentioned um, Patrick and Christie's name. You're saying that I threw my brother Patrick and brother Christie's name into your face. Let me tell you one thing here. I don't need my brother Patrick or my brother Christie, right, to fight my battles. I don't throw Patrick and Christie in anyone's name. I'm my own man, right, and I fight my own battles. My own battles. Listen, I'll all party man your sons, right? I'm the only chap, yeah, that can fight, right? I'm the only man that can put my hands up and fight. I've trained all my life, Brendan. I've trained all my life. I know how to box. Yes, and you know that. You know that. That's why you know you got a lucky punch, Brendan. A lucky punch. I don't need my brothers to fight my battles. I'm big enough, old enough, and able enough to fight my own fucking battles. Yeah? I don't need no one else. You fucking mong boy. Not like you. Not like you, Brendan. Running up and down the town there. Trying to get a bit of back for yourself. Because that's all you have. Right? And all the old country fellas up and down the roads. You can't run to David. Because every time you run to David, yeah? He's in the corner, smacked out his brains. Right? So you leave him there, yeah? Give him a bit of fair play, yeah? Put no blanket over his head. Right? And smother the bastard. That's all he's good for. Right? Getting smothered. He's a waste of oxygen. He's rubbing oxygen, what a proper man should be breathing, yeah? Just like yourself. Now, Brendan, you must be very upset in the video, Brendan, because all of the lies that you came out with, honest to God, a holy vice show is what you are. And that's the God's honest truth, right? I'm happy, though, that i seen you like that. Because now I know I touch nerves, right? I touch nerves and I've got here. I've gotten to your head, right? Because you know, I'm not telling no lies about your woman, aren't I? You know that, Brendan. You know she's been faked to that before you got with her. And she's been faked to that after you got with her. Now, Brendan, you're saying I'm a spastic as well. In the name of God, do you know that record, know the video you done last night, Brendan? Would you please play it back to yourself and listen to what you're seeing? Listen to how you talk, Brendan. You're talking like a spastic yourself. Eh? And you know you with the lisp. 66 says the savages. Yeah? You can't talk like Brendan. You talk like a child. No a child who's learning how to talk. Right? When they're in the early stages of their life, bless them, and they're trying to talk. That's you. You ugly, no good for nothing. Lispy bastard, a sixty six sort of the Saturdays. That's how you talk. You're a mole boy. You had no man around the town showing you how to talk, showing you how, what to say, how to talk like a man, how to, how to be a man. You never had that, Brendan. Because you're no bastard child. All you had was men coming into your mother's house every, every day of the week, yeah? Getting, and you're going up the stairs with your mother and freaking us to death. That's all you fucking had. Huh? Like my father said years ago. Wasn't your mother faking all the taxi men around Garton for free fare? You fucking tramp, yeah. Yeah? A pound ago, 50 pence a blow. That's your family's rates. You fucking bouncy, yeah. 
Huh? Have you took them boots off yet, Brendan? And no the trainers you have. No the trainers you have in the video. In the name of God. <coughs> have you seen the state of them, Brendan? Huh? They came out 20 years ago. Well you let go of the old times, will you, for fuck's sake? You're trying to hold on back to you're trying to hold on to the nineties, Brendan. We're in 2017 now. Take the trainers off your feet and throw them in the nearest bin that you see, yeah? Cause that's all they're fit for, you fucking tramp. With your big cow's belly on ya. See the belly on ya, there's no need for it. You with the table belly. How can you drive a van or any motor at all with the belly in the way? How can you How can you move the steering wheel? That'd cause an old crash trap, Brendan. And look, honest to God, your belly would cause a crash in a motor, right? Because the size of your belly, how have you got room to steer the steering wheel? Uh, do you know what I mean? It's marvellous, right? Honest to God. You, I guarantee you have to put your, your, your seat back a good foot, right? So you let the old belly rest on your lap. You have table belly bastard, yeah? Do uh, you know what you are, Brendan? You're a bag of wind. That's all you are and that's all you ever have been, yeah? You're saying when you get hard, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. Brendan, same goes, son. Same goes, my little friend. You must think when we see you, we're going to walk on. Brendan, when we see you, Brendan, it's on. It's on, Brendan. Right? You know that yourself. Right? You're going to get the exact same back. You're saying this, that, and the other. We're saying the same thing about you, Brendan. So we'll see what's up when we see each other. How's that? Yeah? But you will come out with the worst of it. I promise you that. And then you're saying, oh, you're getting fights all over the country and you won't fight this, that, and the other. Right? These ones in Salford. Karen's boys up in Swansea. Fuck them. Fuck f everyone you mentioned in that video. The ones in Swansea and the ones in Salford. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. They wouldn't come out and fight us. They're cowardly bastards just like you. They wouldn't come out and fight us, Brendan. Huh? We have the whole country terrified of us, Brendan. You're saying we're too soft, boys. But yet and all, nobody will walk up and fight us. Tell the fucking truth. Now, who's the real soft boys there? You fucking mong boy, yeah? School boy. Eh? Get back to fucking school for yourself. Yeah? Because that's all you're good for. Do you know? Do, do you know walking around the place, Brendan? Not knowing what to do with yourself. You can't knock on an old door for an old tree job. You've got to go out and slaughter yourself. Put a load of fridges and washers. No, not a fridges. A load of cookers and um, washers in the back of the van for yourself. Huh? Because you can't make a proper living. You're out till 6 in the morning till about 2, 3 in the day, right? For about 100, 100 200 pounds. You're a fucking tramp. Uh, a works man yourself you are. An old Bowsy's wage, that's all that is. Brendan, that's it now, I'll say what I have to say. The only you get hold of Brendan, I'm telling you, that's it, it's on. You'll, you'll know exactly what's happening when you get, the only you get seen by the right people, you're done. Good luck to you.